Sound. For Harris moving to the bench. Kristen Press scored her first United goal against West Ham. She said before the start of this game, she's eager to start quickly here. For West Ham, Emily Van Egmond scored in this fixture back in October. United won 4-2 in the end, but they certainly had their work cut out. West Ham have got their own injury crisis to deal with as well. Without Adriana Leon, Lois Joel, goalkeeper Mackenzie Arnold. Does make things rather easier for coach Oli Harder. He names the same 11, the same one that drew 2-2 with Birmingham last time out. Well, it's been a huge week for the WSL and women's football with the news of a significant broadcast deal. Big games broadcast in regular slots, a deal that will push domestic football in England into the limelight. And now here we are at Old Trafford for Manchester United against West Ham. This is the first of three games in the WSL today. The North London derby later. Spurs against Arsenal with the kickoff at 3.30. And starting today, the early game. The Red Devils against the Hammers. For the first time then, Manchester United taking to the field at Old Trafford, facing off here against bottom of the table West Ham. 
Women's football has been played at Old Trafford before. You might remember the game at the Olympics in 2012, the uh, last game in that Olympics, the semi-final, some game. Hopefully we get some kind of similar spectacle here. Finished USA 4, Canada 3. The US were 3-1 behind in that game, went on to win 4-3. Alex Morgan, the hero, was at Tottenham, of course, earlier on in the campaign. And a certain Tobin Heath was part of the lineup for the US. Unfortunately, can't be part of things here. West Ham looking to uh, apply some early pressure. Ball out towards this left-hand side. Brinis Dotter moving wide. Spitkova's ball was a nice-looking delivery to Manchester United defence. Well placed to turn away. And Lauren James is back there to help out. Bright start here for West Ham. They were struggling for goals up until last week. They spent the international break working on creative plays. This was a nice-looking delivery. Spitkova just couldn't quite pick out a teammate in the middle. Manchester United love to dominate possession and they look to settle into a rhythm after that early scare. Katie Zellum, who uses the ball so well, works it wide. Now oh, Jackie Gronin. Jackie Gronin said this week that she can't believe she sees so many people walking around Manchester with her shirt on, with her name on their backs, particularly the boys. She says she's really starting to see a shift in the way that the game is being perceived. Forrest Dotter with a ball in field. There's Staniforth who can't quite poke on. West Ham trying to shift the ball forward early, trying to get Martha Thomas in on the action. No way through, says Amy Turnup. Amy Turner released by Doncaster nine years ago. Amazing to think she was told she wouldn't make the grade given where she is now. Svitkova passing the ball on towards Longhurst. She's grown up at West Ham. She's West Ham through and through. They'll need that kind of attitude if they are to stay in the division. Martha Thomas has stayed down after that challenge, but the play continues. No decision there from the referee, Lisa Ben. Jackie Gronin popping up on the right-hand side, looking to come forward, but going nowhere. That was a big challenge from Van Egmond, Australian international, exerting some dominance in the early stages. And there's Martha Thomas. Doesn't look as though she's exactly moving freely. We can see there in the corner of your picture, Martha Thomas is crouching down and doesn't look to be particularly comfortable. Colliding there with Turner as the two of them went for the ball. West Ham already have a considerable injury list, including Adriana Leon. Looks as though she'll be out for the remainder of the season. Could do without any more. Dennis Dotter's ball into the area, gets the glance on, but it goes all the way through towards Mary Earps. Said she had to come and scope out the stadium beforehand so that she could focus purely on the football today. Needed to know where she would park, what the changing rooms would look like. Needed to be organised. She says definitely not a control freak, and it's actually about being organised. Her words. He's back here into the penalty area. She was looking for the run there of Kristen Press, but the American just unable to get to the ball through. On a back there, who really has gone from strength to strength since arriving here at Manchester United, has really grown in confidence. Not too far away there from picking out that run of Kristen Press, but United really haven't had things their own way in the opening five minutes here. 
very good start from West Ham. It's just whether or not they can continue to apply this kind of pressure. Win today for West Ham would take them away from the bottom of the table. A win would actually take them up to ninth, which just goes to show how congested things are down at the bottom of the WSL. A draw, and West Ham will go level on points with Villa and Bristol City. Have got a better goal difference. That's a line is penalised by the referee here. Well, Casey Stoney was pretty critical of the official's performance last week and the rough treatment that uh, Lauren James was getting in that game. But it's been Manchester United who've been fairly physical with West Ham in the opening stages here. West Ham fighting back. Lauren James loves to find these areas of space. She's a centre forward, but she'll drift left and right. Chris Dotter lifting one forward. Kristen Press won't get to that one with fist there. Yeah, on to James, trying to pick out Toon. Haven't really seen too much of Ella Toon as of yet. United's top goal scorer in the WSL. Can be such a threat in front of goal, but just hasn't been given the opportunity to find a goal scoring position as of yet. But yeah, moving the ball into midfield here for United. This is how they like to play the game, and they've been allowed here to make camp, essentially, in West Ham's half, although they've not used the ball particularly well there, and it will go all the way through towards Courtney Brosnan. Played in the last two games in the absence of Mackenzie Arnold. And she's done a brilliant job as well, made some excellent saves in the game against Birmingham in particular. Jackie Gruner challenged in midfield. Svitkova overhits the pass. Big week for Svitkova. Names the female Czech footballer of the year again for the third consecutive season. Winning the award alongside a fellow hammer in Thomas Socek. Pressure on here for Manchester United at the back, and West Ham have definitely pressed well in this game so far. Zellum wins it back. Shifts on quickly, a chance for Toon to come forward. And she was trying to thread the ball through towards Lauren James there, no way through. recent weeks Manchester United have definitely missed the influence of Leah Goulton over on that left-hand side. It's a lovely ball. Here's Jackie Gronen. Thoris Dotter. Danger turned away. Up the season with Manchester United. We saw this wonderful, slick attacking football. They went unbeaten for their first 10 games. There has been something of a tide shift over recent weeks, though. It's four defeats in their last seven. Absence of Leah Goulton is uh, definitely causing an issue. Tobin Heath, as well, has been a player sorely missed. And Lauren James conjures something here, though. Well, it's the first effort on goal for Manchester United, and we've had 10 minutes. Comfortable save for Courtney Brosnan here. These are the areas that Lauren James loves to pick up, giving the opportunity to turn. 
hit that with some power. May have been trouble if it was either side of Brosnan. Lauren James again on the left-hand side, looking to cut in field, searching for space, and she's got this wonderful range of passing. Moved on by Thoris Dutter. Staniforth, and now press, better from United. The build-up was good. Just that final moment that's lacking at the moment. These are the areas, though, where they want to find Kristen Press. She spins away well. It was a tight angle. Maybe just looking for Ella Toon there, but not quite able to find her. Kristen Press said in the build-up to this game that all United need to do is win all of their games, then the pressure is on the other top sides around them to be perfect. Manchester United looking to put the pressure on Arsenal who they're in a fight for with uh, for third place in the division. Casey Stoney did say that she expects to be in the Champions League. It would be a personal failure if they didn't reach the Champions League. Not far away from securing their place. Forrest Dutter, standing forth, here's Toon in space, Toon with a chance. And Flaherty there with the block, still alive here with James. James with a chance, shifts the ball nicely from out of under her feet. But the shot blocked by Reddish and turned away for a United corner. Well, Manchester United starting to find spaces and areas where they can penetrate. So far, the West Ham defence doing ever so well. This is where Manchester United want to get Ella Toon on the ball, and this is where Lauren James wants to operate. United corner, deep to Turner. Glanced away, not for long. Here's Toon, tries one from deep, but Fisk in the middle there with the block. in there from Longhurst. So often Katie Zellum is allowed to dominate that midfield area, but have Kate Longhurst, who's essentially right on top of her every time she gets the ball. brought Ollie Harder into this job because he was a man for detail. Definitely seems like he's done his research here on this Manchester United team. Away goes Van Egmond. Spins and sees an opportunity to come forward straight into the face of Katie Zellum there. This is where West Ham are trying to pen Manchester United in, and they're doing really well. Again, they've sprung the trap. Svitkova wanted to come forward, but West Ham are forced back into their own half. Again, the Australian with a lovely glance forward. It's well covered there by Turner with the sliding challenge. Needed to get there as well. 
Emily Van Eggman just starting to find some positions where she can cause some damage to Manchester United. She's certainly a player who can cause trouble. She'll be playing in the friendly match for Australia against Germany that comes up in April, so not too far away, of course, if that game is allowed to go ahead with the restrictions. Longhurst with the throw-in. Here is Thomas. Not too many options inside the penalty area. That's a foul by Lauren James. Penalised by Lisa Ben, the referee. Well, that's good work by Thomas. She didn't really have too much of an option in the middle. And that's what you would call excellent centre forward play. Winning a free kick. And now this is an area where West Ham might be looking to do some damage. Kenza Dali and uh, Svitkova over the ball. Katarzyna Svitkova, who you would think would be the more likely to go for this one. Darley who sends it in and it's nodded away comfortably at the front post after that long wait for the delivery. Not too many who get the ball off of Lauren James. She wins a free kick. Jilly Flaherty. Former Arsenal and Chelsea at the back. Jilly Flaherty feeling pretty charged before this game, that has to be said. Saying that playing against Manchester United at Old Trafford, what more incentive do you need? It certainly fire you up. And at the moment, West Ham are spoiling the party. 18 minutes in. Risky pass there from Jackie Gronin. Work to do for Turner at the back, and she wins a free kick. Fairly happy with how proceedings are going so far, although it's tight margins and it's only nil nil. Forrest Dotter now turn up. Nice ball out towards James, allowed to travel along the left hand side. So dangerous when she's dribbling like this. Nice delivery into the area, press, press, sorry. The uh, front post looking to turn away from Fisk. Build up was really good for Manchester United and a nice ball into the area too from Lauren James here. After excellent work with that Maisie run. Only 19, Lauren James. In and around the England setup, and definitely a big name for the future here at Manchester United. There are a number of young, talented players in and around this squad. Alatoon being one of those. Russo, who misses out today with injury, but certainly a big name for the future. West Ham 
driving forward. Thomas moving the ball on. Might be a chance here. Well, it fell very kindly there for Brynis Dotter. Comfortable save in the end for Mary Earps. Unselfish play once this comes to Thomas here. Could well have gone for goal, but decided to shift the ball on. The Iceland international here. Hits the target, but it's well saved. And comfortably so by Mary Earps. Dagny Brinis Dotter with a really interesting article on her Twitter that came out, I think, this week. Talking about being a mum in the women's professional game. One of uh, very few mums in the game. Says that she's a better player and a better teammate since having her son. Definitely worth the read. If you are a fan of the Icelandic international. Flaherty launching the ball on. United still not getting things their own way in this game. But a very even contest. West Ham send the ball into the area. Big chance here, potentially it's turned away to safety. Good defending by Amy Turner, who was on hand to touch away for a corner. Nervy moments at the back for Manchester United. Again, the build-up play from West Ham was brilliant. Thomas involved again. Reddish bringing under control, but Turner anticipating so well. Entertaining start then to the early fixture in the WSL. This is the first of three fixtures in the WSL today. Have the North London Derby at 3.30 today. Spurs against Arsenal. Which I'm sure Manchester United will be watching eagerly. Can check on the FA player under the FAQs to see whether or not you're able to watch that in your area. Uh, equally worth having a quick look on Twitter at Barclays FA WSL. Just to see if the game's available in your area. Here's Ella Toon. Ella Toon with quick feet. And now Zellum with a chance. Zellum! Floats the ball over the top of the crossbar, just couldn't keep that one down. Ella Toon waited for support, and Katie Zellum, we know, can hit them. Well found here by a teammate. One touch to control. Maybe just had her head up ever so slightly there. And no trouble, really, for Courtney Brosnan. Looks warm out there, I can assure you that it definitely isn't a cold wind. Just the nine degrees in Manchester. West Ham do here? Well, not too much is the answer. Kenza Dali was the target there, but just unable to pick out her teammates. Mary Earps. The joker in the pack, that's how she describes herself. Deadly serious about football, though. Oh, dear. Ball given away here to Lauren James. Lauren James on to press in the area. Big moment here for United, but she just can't pick out Ella Toon coming in around the back. And it's a big sigh of relief for the West Ham defence, having given the ball away so cheaply here. Away goes Lauren James. Found press ever so well, but the pass through towards her teammate at the far post tune just ever so slightly too much on it to reach her up, 
Well, it does feel as though there's quite a significant weight on the shoulder of Kristen Press and Ella Toon here in the absence of Tobin Heath and Leah Goldson. trying to drop the shoulder, but she won't get away from Reddish on the far side. Scrapping to win it back, and now Toon. Clever from Mary Earps. looking to go forward, always looking to create and supply something exciting. Doris Dotter hangs the ball up, Flatty with the header away. Again in that midfield, West Ham are proving to be very effective. And this is a position where we haven't seen Katie Zellum all that often in this game, and this is where she loves to be. Two moves it wide. Jackie Gronen. And here is Zellum. This is where she can damage you. Forrest Dutter. Lauren James moving across towards the right-hand side now. And she's penalised there as she goes in for what was a 50-50 challenge. I don't think there was really any malice behind it. She may just have injured Fetterline as she went through. Had every right to go for the ball. But it was the German who got there first. looks like being the source of the best opportunities for creativity in this Manchester United team. Lauren James. There's Casey Stoney in the trademark coat. Said today that she wants her players to express themselves, wants them to be bold, wants them to be creative. Not really being given a chance to do that in this game. Fisk. Launching a ball on, and Van Eggman will put the Manchester United defence under some pressure. It's interesting when you look at West Ham's record over the season. Record against the top six isn't particularly good. Six defeats in six. They are challenging here. They are making a nuisance of themselves against one of the top sides in the league. Press on the charge. Brilliant sliding challenge to prevent her moving forward from Vetterline. Looks to be okay after that collision with Lauren James just a moment ago. Toon up to press. Press on the spin, and she's dealt with by the West Ham defence. Good work there by Fisk. Young England centre-back. Not allowing Press the room to manoeuvre. Fourth made her debut a couple of weeks back. Manchester United took some time for that. Had some problems with injuries. Lucy standing fourth as Manchester United win themselves a free kick. There was a challenge there, but then there's a challenge here too. 
did look as though Kate Longhurst got the ball. Crossfield ball from Staniforth is good. Glennon and Zellum combining. United love to zip the ball around in these triangles in the middle of the park. This is when they're at their best. Play being disrupted so far by this West Ham side have been really impressive over the opening half an hour. Zellum trying to find Toom. The channel for the pass blocked off and West Ham can clear away. The talk before the start of the game was play the game, not the occasion. Just wonder if there is some additional pressure here because both of these sides are playing at Old Trafford. Big moment in the women's game today. Manchester United making their first appearance here. We've got the North London derby later. Spurs against Arsenal. 3.30 is the kickoff in that one. More on Twitter at Barclays FA WSL. You can also check on the FA player under the FAQs to find out if you're able to watch the game. The later game today, Manchester City playing up against Reading and an opportunity to go top of the table with Chelsea playing tomorrow. Good defending by West Ham. Carried away smartly by Kenza Daly. This is where West Ham could really just do with trying to keep hold of the ball and maybe doing something a bit more creative with it as Grennan looks to come forward here. The Dutch international feeling the pressure from behind, so forced back towards Katie Zellum. United find Grunen free inside the box. She has drifted offside, though. Still feel as though we haven't seen our best from Jackie Grunen in the WSL as of yet. Still feel as if there is still more to come. Turner glances away and here is Van Egmond. Nice play, well worked wide towards Fitkova. Here's the Czech international looking for an opportunity to get the cross in. Best she can do is send it on towards Mary Earps, too close to the goalkeeper really to cause any trouble. of a number of United players, Mary Earps, dreaming of the Champions League, says the Champions League music gives her goosebumps. Definitely something about that music. Svitkova with the throw in. Must have thought that her goal was enough last week to give her side three points against Birmingham. Away goes Press now. Press into the penalty area with an opportunity to square it. Brilliant defending. Lauren James lurking, but it's turned away by Fisk on the edge of the six-yard box. Well, again, the West Ham United defence opened up, but they didn't panic here. And they turn away to safety. And this moment here allowed both Lauren James and Kristen Press to go sprinting through on goal. Well turned away. Manchester United can be so effective from these set pieces. Here's Staniforth with the delivery, searching ball to the back of the area, and it's knotted only just over the top by Lauren James. Managed to get there, ahead of Courtney Brosnan here. Nice 
nice delivery from Stanithorpe, causing issues. Flick on here, finds Thomas. Thomas away for West Ham. Nice looking run. The shot was good too, and not too far away from finding that bottom corner. Lovely break for West Ham, and they very nearly take advantage. Purposeful run, full of determination. Just dragged the shot ever so slightly here. Martha Thomas has been full of determined running here so far in this game. <laughs> Definitely fights in this West Ham side. It's tight at the bottom. And there is certainly a chance for survival. Doing everything they can to treat every game seriously. No doubt that they are the underdogs coming into this one, but Manchester United have looked anything but favourites. Torres Dottir is put under some significant pressure. Torres Dottir moving on towards Turner. James slips the ball in behind, Tune away here, pressed to Amat and Gronin in the middle. Flaherty though says you're going nowhere and turns away. Don't Jackie Gronin combined. Now here's Zellum. United are trying to work the ball side to side, trying to find some spaces, some chinks in this West Ham armour, but they just haven't found a way through. Lauren James will try here, though. Low delivery into the box is well turned away in the middle by Grace Fisk. Just managed to manoeuvre her body there. She had to adapt as this one came in. Turns away for the corner. Lovely feet there from Lauren James, as always. Plenty of red shirts waiting in the penalty area. West Ham defence does its job, but well, that would have been some strike. Elatoon fancying that one on the volley. Scrapping to win it back. United trying to hit top gear. Here's Grennan. Grennan's ball. Take a deflection on the way through. I think it did. It will go away, will it, for a corner? Took a deflection out of uh, Brynis Dutter. Yes. Another ball well dealt with by the West Ham defence. And it was the Icelandic international Brynis Dutter who got there. Another chance for a delivery for United. Deeper this time to the back of the box. Excellent work by Courtney Brosnan. Been superb when she's been called into action in this game. She's been excellent over the last couple of games in the absence of Mackenzie Arnold. Well, for West Ham United now, very much about getting into the half-time break with the result as is. More than enough of an opportunity in the second half that they could potentially go on and snatch something here. Forrest Dotter. And now Zellum. Instantly she has company again. Really hasn't been able to get into her groove in this game. Here's Toon. 
Toon slips it through and very nearly picks out Brennan. Wonderful vision from Ella Toon. And she goes so, so close there to picking out the late run of Jackie Gronin. Well, this was really clever build-up for Manchester United. Ella Toon maturing into a super player. given away here by Turner Van Egmond moves on Darley Spitkova goes for goal but there's a big deflection before that one ends up in the gloves of Mary Earps and no trouble there for the United keeper United just trying to go up a few gears before the half-time whistle. You can sense that there's a bit more urgency now about their attacking play. Now Lauren James, who's moved back over across towards this right-hand side, having been on the left for a while. Staniforth. Now Zellum. Doris Dotter, ever so slightly behind Jackie Gronin, she was the intended target. This is lovely from West Ham, but Darley knew there that she was in an offside position, so she had to check her run, she wanted the ball earlier. Three minutes to go then until the half-time break. and press the chance to drive from deep looking to link up there with Zellum no way through again well, it can't be understated the hard work that's gone in from Kate Longhurst in that midfield in the first half Time and time again, covering so much ground to close down the space so that that Manchester United midfield can't operate. West Ham then allowed to come forward just before half time. Here is Darley. Darley with an opportunity. Herbs down quickly to smother the ball and make the save. Well, it was a brilliant opening here for West Ham, and Darley knows it too. Herbs giving the ball away. Longhurst driving forward and into midfield, and this is the chance here. Deflection off of Turner, doing just enough really to take the sting out of the shot. from West Ham has been so impressive all the way through this first half. They played with a real intensity, an intensity that Manchester United maybe weren't expecting. Certainly, they're finding it difficult to deal with. That's been a shift for Kristen Press, who is dropping deeper and deeper to pick up the ball. Lost out here to Darley. Wonderful pass. Chance here for Svitkova. Svitkova hangs one up and it's really close to Erbs. Erbs lucky really that she was in the right position to be able to gather.
Svitkova. Nice ball into Dali, who is growing in confidence in this game, seeing more and more of the ball. We're nearly nipping in there. Good work, it has to be said, by the Manchester United defence. Now Lauren James. Clever play. Well tracked, though. As Ella Toom was making her way through. And of all people, it's Martha Thomas who's back there. Commitment levels from West Ham have been superb in this game. Vetterlein now carrying forward, but with Thomas on defensive duty, there's nobody forward to receive the ball. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, we are level at half-time at Old Trafford. The sides who are aiming to qualify in the Champions League positions in the WSL being frustrated here by West Ham, who are fighting for survival in this division and fighting brilliantly with everything that they've got. Half-time here, we'll join you back for the second half shortly. Manchester United nil, West Ham nil.